Premiere Pro and After Effects come with some really cool AI tools that every editor should know about. The first one is probably the newest one, Generative Extent. In Premiere Pro, you can now extend your clips using the Generative Extent tool. All you need to do is click and drag your video to the right to make it longer, and AI will literally extend it. You do have to wait for a while though, but it works really well. First, it has to upload the clip to Adobe Firefly, and then Firefly will generate it for you. This is done so that you don't need to have have an extremely powerful computer in order to run it. Which is pretty stupid, because Premiere alone requires 5 NASA computers to run smoothly. Alright, it's done generating. Let's take a look at what we've got. Hmm, don't get me wrong, it looks cool, but for some reason the hand freezes. This doesn't really look that good, and everyone will know it's AI. Let's try it on another clip, for example a road with a lot of cars. I'm really curious if it can keep the motion of the cars consistent. Here we go. Whoa, that looks really good. This is definitely usable, and that is if you can ignore this mistake at the top. I don't know what the car is doing there, but hey, it's nothing that can be fixed. But now I'm curious, what do you think of Generative Extent? Let me know. And now it's time for tool number two, Content Aware Fill. It's an After Effects, but it's a life changer for video editors. I recently used it to hide my toy lightsaber for my ignition effect, but you can use it for much simpler things as well. Let's say I forgot to clean my desk and I want to remove this pen. Well, to do that, make sure you're at the first frame of your clip. Then go to the toolbar and click the pen tool. Draw a mask around the pen you want to remove. Then head over to the timeline and expand the mask properties. Set a mask pad keyframe. Now move a little forward in time and quickly animate the mask around the pen. Once that's done, the mask will follow the pen of course. Then go to the mask settings again and set the mask mode to subtract. That will create a hole in the video. Next, go to the window menu on top and find the content aware fill panel. Once it's open, click on generate fill layer and let it do its thing. As you can see, it worked perfectly. This can really be a life changer. Tool number three. This one is called sub magic. It's used by a lot of popular creators to create animated captions. 100% automatic both for long form and short form content. All you need to do is click generate captions, upload your video and then again click on generate captions. Right now all that's left to do is choose a preset from this list full of awesome subtitles. These are all animated and it's the most accurate transcript you'll ever see. Seriously, stop using Premiere's text panel, it's terrible. Now obviously you'll get complete control over the position and scale of your captions and you can do that for every Every line individually. You can even change the color of your captions or if you want you can add emojis and whenever you're done you can export it. In the meantime you can generate a description with hashtags and everything. This makes your content look better and it saves you a lot of time. But if that's not enough, you can also use magic clips. This will turn one long video into multiple shorts. It automatically detects potential viral clips and edits them for you. Or you can use the editor and find clips manually. You can edit all of them as much as you want. You have full customizability. And of course, you can add captions the same way as you learned before. I've recently started making shorts again and now I love it thanks to Submagic. Click the link down below to check it out and don't forget to use the code Premier Basics for 10% off. Thank you Submagic so much for sponsoring this video. Tool number 4, Adobe Firefly's text to image prompting. This one's really cool. Just go to the Firefly website, log in and then choose text to image. First of all, you can choose a model. We're leaving it at Firefly image 4. You can also adjust the aspect ratio. Let's set it to 69. And of course, you can choose stuff like your content type, a composition and even styles. Oh, and you can upload your own image or choose one of theirs as a reference. So, I use ChatGPT to write me a prompt because it's really good at it. And this is what I came up with. I'm curious. So these are the results. It does look cool, especially the second and the last one. There's just one big problem. I didn't really ask for this, which makes it bad. I mean not the image, but the result. That's why for generating images, I suggest you use ChatGPT or even better, Midjourney. I generated some awesome images with it and it's not even difficult. If you're planning on giving money, do not give it to Firefly. Tool number five. Again, Adobe Firefly's text to video prompting. So this is similar to the text to image and here you can also choose a model, resolution, aspect ratio, but you can change the FPS for some reason. You'll probably have to pay for that. But what I do like is that you can choose camera settings. This helps Firefly with creating your shots. All right, let's try something. A ladybug chilling on a pink flower, sunset, vibrant sky and clouds, extremely realistic. Generate. Oh, 
That does not look good. Honestly, it's the first time I generated a video with Firefly. I recommend you use Sora from OpenAI, which is a lot better. But maybe if you do your best with prompting, you can get something cool out of Firefly. I created a lightsaber in After Effects and it's super easy. Click the video right here on your right or my left to check the video and learn everything about it. Thank you guys so much for watching.